Officials have revealed the cause of the massive gas explosion that killed two people back in August. Hello again, everyone. I'm Tim Williams. And I'm Lynn Bowie. We now know a natural gas buildup caused the explosion that killed two people and leveled three homes. WJZ is live this afternoon. Adam Joy Burnett tells us investigators say the explosion happened just a day after a contractor did work in a basement on that very block. Adam Joy, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you both. We're learning that that contractor was apparently doing work on an HVAC unit. And even though it was a licensed contractor, they apparently did not have a permit for that specific job. That resulted in a deadly explosion where two people died. Five months after this massive gas explosion in Labyrinth Road in northwest Baltimore, investigators reveal a natural gas buildup caused the deadly blast. Fire Chief Niles Ford said just the day before the explosion, a contractor was working on an HVAC unit in a basement here. That work may have caused a leak, and hours later, it was a stove that ignited the explosion. From those readings, a spike in natural gas levels were detected between 1.30 and 2 o'clock in the morning of August 10th. City officials say the contractor who was doing the work was licensed, but a permit for the work has not been found. Councilman Yitschi Schleifer, who represents this district, said if the contractor was negligent and did not obtain a proper permit, those actions are unacceptable. The one key benefit to, to getting the, the permits is that an inspector will come out and double check their work. And so that's where, you know, it's really, it's really sad to see a situation like this play out uh, when perhaps an inspector could have came out and uh, double-checked this work. The blast killed two people, 20-year-old Joseph Graham, a Morgan State University student, and 61-year-old Lonnie Harriet. It jolted this close-knit community, including Mayor Brandon Scott's mother, who worked nearby. I knew something was severely wrong just based off the sound of my mother's voice and immediately started to drive in this direction. Today, the repairs continue as investigators come closer to finding more answers. This gas explosion took the lives of two people in this community and injured seven others. Now that deadly explosion happened on this block on August 10th. Two people, as you heard, died. Officials will be sending out a detailed report, and that's where we expect to learn more about that contractor. Live at noon, Abjoy Burnett for WJZ.